I have sorted some questions. So, there are large number of questions. We will not be able to take all of them. I have tried to consolidate them so that we will be able to get Wang Chuk to sort of. So, here is a question that yeah. you can start. Uh, you want to ask? Uh, you, you, you can yeah. just start uh, okay. and. Yeah. Okay. Is there any way we, in which we can transport the ice stupas to places where water is not easily available? Can there be miniature ice stupas which can be stored at home for backup? Very good question. So, can ice stupas or jagon pe le ja sakte hain, chote chote bana sakte hain, gharon mein, angan mein? Uttar hai haan aur na. Haan, jahan sardiyon mein इतनी सर्दी होती हो कि बर्फ जमता हो तो जरूर हमारी ये आशा है कि ये लोग घरों में भी बनाएं अपने आंगन में बनाएं मगर ये शायद अभी ऐसे ही जगहों में होगी जो बहुत शिद्दत की सर्दी देखते हैं एक तरह से अच्छा है हम सोचते हैं हम बहुत बदनसीब हैं इतने सर्दी के इलाके में तो ये एक ऐसी चीज है जो हम ही कर सकते हैं <laughs> <laughs> मगर मगर ऐसा नहीं है कि आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते हैं आप बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं यहाँ पानी के यहाँ के तरीके और अलग होंगे जैसे जोहड़ बनाते हैं आप रिचार्ज करते हैं आप रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग करते हैं ये सब तो आप कर सकते हैं जो यहाँ पे ज्यादा ठीक रहेगी और सबसे बड़ी बात जो मैं सुबह भी कह रहा था जो कि हम सब कर सकते हैं पहाड़ में हो मैदान में है शहर में हो गाँव में हो वो है पानी की बचत <laughs> और जितना पानी बचाया उतना पानी संचय किया यूं कहिए जी ओके डू यू थिंक एग्री दैट पीपल आर मोर इनोवेटिव एंड इन्वेंटिव इन रीजन वेयर लाइफ इज डिफिकल्ट एंड नेचर इज वेरी ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव आई वुड ब्रादर एग्री विद दैट मेरे ख्याल से जैसे कहा नेसेसिटी इज द मदर ऑफ इन्वेंशन तो जहां जरूरतें uh, जहां मुश्किलातें ज्यादा हो तो आपको करना ही पड़ता है तरीके तो इसलिए मैं कहता हूं जो मुश्किलातें हैं वो कोई बुरी चीज नहीं होती है वो आपको धकेलते हैं कुछ नया सोचने में तो चैलेंजेस इन लाइफ आर रियली ब्लेसिंग वेदर ए रीजन और एन इंडिविजुअल जब आपको कोई चैलेंजेस आए तो ये सोचिए कि प्रकृति भगवान आप में एक नई ऊर्जा दे रही है तो वो उसके लिए आप राइज टू द ओकेजन सो चैलेंजेस डेफिनेटली इंस्टिल एंड ब्रिंग आउट द बेस्ट इन यू देर आर सम फोर फाइव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई थिंक यू नीड टू रीड दैम बिफोर यू आंसर ओके विच वन ओके हु इम्बाइव वैल्यूज ऑफ तोड फोर जोड इन यू इन योर चाइल्डहुड आफ्टर एल्डर्स ब्रोक दो वेरी वैल्यूज Well, I was very lucky to not go to a school till nine years of age. Yeah. So, <laughs> so childhood taught me. I think I I lived in my little village till nine, and only then I was dragged into a school, and with that ended my true learning. I say sometimes. <laughs> so yes, yes, misplaced. A bad school is. worse than no school so <laughs> be careful schools really should be good or no schools may not be so bad because at least nature can work yeah okay and this one okay chota padta hu from whom did you get your inspiration about innovation and need to help students well innovation every child is very innovative i think if left to themselves so childhood gives you that if you manage to keep your childhood alive you are young the day you stop the child growing you are old even if you are 12 or 15 or 20 and if you are alive with the child inside you you are young at 80 so let childhood uh, live in you and uh, yes to help others i think my mother was very very kind to everybody and i got it as a gift and most all mothers are very kind they are full of compassion if only we pluck the right strings <laughs> okay 
how can how can we preserve items in which bacteria um, take birth as produced okay birth as soon as uh, produced such as camel milk um, I really don't know. I'll have to understand more. Um, I haven't worked with camel milk, but uh, bacteria are not very bad, actually. They are very friendly. If, if bacteria of the world went away, we'll you be, will go away. We'll be great trouble. <laughs> totally great trouble. Any new way to reduce smoke from vehicles? Well, walk. <laughs> If you walk when you can, your car, I promise you, will not produce smoke. Uh, there, there are a number of questions from students and I think it represents more their state of mind. So I'll just put them for you and I think it needs to be answered very carefully. <laughs> Do I? Yep. Why today's education has become only marks oriented? Uh, students have tough competition to face. Yeah, I feel it's mainly because we are doing mass education, mass production, mass education. We are not paying individual attention. We are not taking it like, uh, like something that molds people. Like factories produce products, we are doing factory education. So. That's a problem and when you are doing factory scale education, you want to gauge people's achievements with factory style uh, assessment. So I think education needs, uh, merits a better treatment than uh, products get. So more attention uh, and should not leave everything to schools, it should be more like from parents to adults around, like it used to happen in our communities in the good old days. So, uh, mass production needs to be re-looked at so that education is not in, done in that way. Okay, mm, the person who, who has multiple interests and loves different fields is always child. confused to choose his her stream in 10th, 12th and further college. So, what he, she should choose his her field from you're right you're right the problem is not with the child child is colorful has so many interests but our supply is of schools that have four or five choices 10 or 15 choices whereas people are multicolored personalities so again things have to evolve in the education system. Just as in India, we have mostly colleges that give this stream or that stream, a little better in the West is, you know, where you can choose interdisciplinary uh, credit systems, etc. Similarly, further steps need to be taken. We should not be stuck with what our predecessors handed us. And perhaps future education will be more fluid, more organic, more uh, harmonious. Till then, you have to manage, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, we can't do big innovations like you. What curious steps can we take in our everyday life? Also, you also must have faced failure in life. How did you overcome them? You start small, definitely. Don't wait for a big uh, day or to emulate somebody who has done big or whatever. Start with your own solutions, original, your own thoughts. Most of them will fail. As in my case, I say most of the times nine out of ten fail. One clicks. And that's a standard thing. Failure is not a problem. I think in our country we make too much fuss about failure. So much so that nobody wants to try even. Only if we give failure a good status as a stepping stone to success, then only people will learn to fail, dare to fail and, you know, succeed also. So, please, don't make big uh, fuss about failure. The reason you are walking today is because 
for thousand times you fell forward, fell backward, and now you are able to walk on two feet. So remember, if you had if you had the same spirit back when you were one, you would have never walked. You would have crawled all your life because you would have ashamed of falling. You would have been ashamed of failure. You would never have walked. So sometimes ignorance is a bliss. So be like the child who doesn't care about falling and therefore learns to walk. Very good question. I, how do you find reason to live a life when one exists on earth? This is a very profound question which I had as a 12 year old. Because somebody has asked, I would say, I saw no reason, no meaning in life really. I thought, what is this game? It ends nowhere. You just take part in this drama and there's no outcome, output, good for anybody. And I was almost uninterested in life itself until I thought, I have to invent a reason. I don't find any reason. Uh, don't take this seriously, this life. But there are so many others who do take life so seriously and are in such suffering because of that, maybe that should be my reason to make others who are so serious make their lives interesting. So if you don't find a reason, you are close to enlightened, but then you can find other people's reasons and live for that. So, yeah, I would say that. Latour is one of the dry places in India, there even though various uh, NGOs are working, water shortage is present. Ice stupas can't work there, what are the other measures that can be taken place instead of rain water harvesting? Well, I really don't know. Um, sometimes, you know, you have to learn from history. So, look at what your ancestors did. Sometimes the crops that the government may be giving you may not be the answer. Maybe the ancestors farmed something that needs very little water. Maybe they lived simpler. So you have to also learn from your ancestors what works there. So time often is, an, is a good uh, source of learning, like in the case of earth buildings. So try to understand how people adapted in the past and see what can do best in those areas. Because nature has evolved over millions of years, there must be some crops, some trees, some plants that do well in these conditions. So stick to those, don't introduce something that is a water guzzler and then you mourn it doesn't grow there. Maybe most things don't, but there are some things that do well. I wouldn't be able to say, but you have to, because I can't solve uh, problems that I don't know. That's why I say, if each one takes care of their part of the country, the nation will take care of itself. So, yeah. Uh, what is your method of increasing your knowledge? Um, this age of 53, when you have so much knowledge, how to continuously increase knowledge? Well, first of all, I'll disagree. I always feel how little I know. Um, but keep learning, keep learning. Learning is not limited to schools. That's another misconception that today's education gives us. We think 16 years of learning, that's the time of learning, then it's finished. No, learning actually continues. And the person that stays young and alive is the person who keeps learning keeps learning new things like a young teenager and you will live like a young teenager if you keep your mind flexible and receptive same with your body if you keep it active like young ones you will be like young ones so learning never ends so that's what I try to do always keep learning something a new language a new skill a new sport and that's what our brain cells need it is not just me saying scientists now recently have proved that brain cells keep growing if you keep giving them stimulus. So it's not that it stops at certain age. If you give the same conditions, it will keep growing. So young people take stimuli and uh, you know respond.
Similarly, older people, if they keep giving themselves new things to learn, the neurons will keep multiplying. So, all the very best. Thank you. Jigyasa Uruti bhi kaafi ajeeb hoti hai. Ek tum late aate hai aur sawalo pe sawal puchhe jate hai. Dwari, please. We would like to honor Shri Vangchuk and I would invite Mrs. Lina Ben Mehta to present Shri Vangchuk with a personalized memento. The memento is an artistic portrait of Shri Vangchuk made by a renowned international artist who belongs to Vadodara, Brijesh Upadhyay. <laughs> 